I was there when minutes after Frederick Bear was sentenced, he unleashed a profane rant on the way back to jail. He was sentenced to death for the February 2004 murder of Corey Clark and her daughter Jenna and LaPelle. Prosecutor Rodney Cummings. If we don't impose a death sentence in this case, then I don't know who's out there that we should ever impose it on. I I'm not certain I've seen a more deserving defendant than this individual. Before the murders, Beer had already been a one-man crime spree in central Indiana. He's been convicted on a number of other cases, home invasion rapes in Marion County and Hamilton County in addition to this crime. So he's probably, I, I think the outdate is he'll be 81 when he's done with those crimes. So uh, he's never getting out of prison. But is it the will of the murder victim's family that Bear pay the ultimate price? They're ready to get this behind him. So if we... I feel confident that given the facts of this case, there's there's likely to be another death sentence imp imposed, but then you're looking at another 15 years appeal for them. Do they want to endure that? And I don't want to put them through that if they really don't want to do that. Many potential death penalty cases nowadays are being resolved with sentences of life without the possibility of parole. Prosecutor Cummings says he will consult with the victim's family to determine if they want to continue to pursue the death penalty. If they do, it would be at least six months before a new hearing would be scheduled. Derek Thomas, RTV6.